So as I mentioned before, we're trying to keep this car as stock-ish as possible or bring it back to stock-like form to make sure that when we're doing all the baseline testing, it, it really represents like what the car would have been like in uh, 2001 off the showroom floor. Now, obviously with this new rebuilt engine, we got a little bit extra performance, but it's just, it's just something we'll have to deal with. But one of the things that I didn't want to compromise on was the oiling system. So because it's a fresh engine and with road racing, um, keeping the oil cool is super important just to make sure that the bearing life is there and the engine stays, the, the engine and the, the oil temperature stays within check while you're on track. So um, I wanted to put an aftermarket oil cooler on this thing. After playing around in one of the um, Mustang forums online that's road race specific, I'd, uh, I'd met the guys over um, at Road Race One and I had been talking to them for some time and they make a really nice product. So I wanted to kind of walk you through what that looks like. Here's a... Uh, this is the factory Cobra oil cooler. It basically screws to the block um, with a sandwich plate. And in here is like a radiator style cooler. But all it does is it really brings the engine oil up to temperature really quickly uh, when the engine starts up. So this thing's okay, but it's got a lot of miles on it. I didn't want to reuse it on a fresh engine. So, and it was, it was a good time to upgrade. So here's what I got. Um, this is actually from Road Race One. Here's their website. This is what the kit looks like. This one is specific to a four valve um, mod motor. And I actually opted to get a little bit larger of an oil cooler because we may have some horsepower increase over the next year or two. So I just wanted to go ahead and uh, make sure I was prepared for that. So to start with, everything comes pre-assembled, which is pretty awesome. All the lines already assembled. All the heat wrap is already on. Um, they're, they're marked and labeled, tells you exactly where the lines go pretty easy um kit comes with all the hardware comes with all the uh fittings comes with a nice o-ring style adapter for the coolant hose on the lower side more hardware and they even include the uh two different styles of gaskets that the mod motor could potentially use depending on the block that you have right here is the block plate you got an in and out and then you have a couple options right there right there and right there for uh oil pressure sensors, uh, factory and aftermarket. And then this is the uh, this is the housing for the oil filter. So you got your in and outs, of course. But what's really neat about this is it's actually got a thermostat. It's a 180 degree thermostat. So the this actually bypasses the uh, heat exchanger or oil cooler until the temperature is 180 degrees and then it starts to open and then it starts running oil through the cooler. So that way it allows the oil temperature to come up the oil to come up to temperature pretty quickly, which is pretty awesome. Got some bracketry here to mount it. Um, and then they have a, a lower coolant hose. You have to modify a little bit, nice aluminum bracket. And then this is the, uh, the lower bracket too. Some nice, easy to follow instructions, but this is, um, this is one of the larger, um, oil coolers. This is the one that I opted for. I believe it's the 530 model. It's good for up to 600 horsepower. So it'll be more than enough for this engine. But if I decide to upgrade the engine down the road, it'll also take care of me then too. So um, I'm going to get this thing installed, get it on the car, and then uh, I may do a follow up and show you guys what it looks like on the car. Uh, this is designed to be a bolt in kit. So it should be pretty easy to get installed. All right. All right. So I got the cooler mounted and I wanted to kind of show you guys what this thing looks like. Uh, the fit and finish was great. Only thing I had to do was actually make this little bracket since I got this oversized cooler, but I was able to reuse their bottom bracket. So that worked out nice. This thing tucks up in there really, really well, as you can tell. Lines go up through here. Brand new Molly filter on this thing. That's actually the thermostat housing right there. Nice bracket on the bumper support that comes with the kit. Secured it up to the frame to it. Ties right there into the cooling system. And then the lines go right up in there. 